Hey, it's Francis, and today we're going to make the song longer. If you haven't been following along, make sure you watch the previous videos first so you know how to get to the point we're at. So the first thing we're going to do here is zoom out so we can really see the project in a, sort of a macro form and get a feel for what the structure is like now. And as you can see, the harp kind of goes on all the way up until this point at around uh, bar 49. And um, after that, we have what sounds like kind of a nice end to the song. But I personally want this track to be significantly longer than a minute, 50 seconds, two minutes or so. So today we're going to explore ways of doing that. I think that to start with, we might just want to make most of the whole song happen again. And to do that, I'm just copy pasting the harp section so it starts over again. The thing is, I don't want it to start over exactly as it did. So we're going to bring in our sampler track at this same point and loop that along with our bass part. And that's going to sound like this now. Sounds pretty good, but now that the sampler is playing without the choir or the flute, I'm starting to be bothered by the amount of high frequency information in the sampler. So we're going to go in to the effects on the sampler, which I apologize. So apparently I've left my sampler, my, my effects and my MIDI editor controls out of my previous videos. So that might be really confusing to some of you. Hopefully that didn't create a problem. So we are going to add, again, a filter. Sort of lo-fi up the sampler track. And at some point, we want to bring back in our flute melody and at some other point maybe we want to bring back our choir part but instead of following the bass line as we have in the past i think it might be nice to bring in the choir in contrary motion from the bass let's see what that sounds like And that, I think, would be a good point to start the song over. So we could take the whole thing now and just copy paste it. And now we have a, basically a really long song that doesn't quite end. But if we take this thing that we thought would make a good ending over here and put that at the end, by just extending the bass part. I think we might have ourselves a good complete sounding song that's pretty long now. As you can see, it's seven and a half minutes at this point. 
which for an ambient genre is probably just right. I'd say let's listen to the whole thing right now, but that'll be half the video. So instead what we want to do here is to see how the transitions feel. So it looks like the place where we started the track over is right here. So we want to start by listening to that section and see how that transition feels. And then we want to see how it feels ending the song. So let's start from here and play it back. That transition's okay, but I really like the idea of adding one more note to that flute part. It sounds like it really wants to tra transition back to the beginning of the section, and I think that adding the first note will make this overlap feel much more natural. Zooming back out. This zoom control, by the way, is right behind where my face is in this video. Just in case you're not finding it. Our zoom in and out is over here. Okay, and let's check that at the end. I think we might want the same thing to happen with a flute here at the end of the song. Let's hear this last part. <laughs> I think I want that gong to happen again at the end as well, now that I'm hearing it. And maybe we want the same idea where the last note happens again. for that. All right. So at this point, the song's sounding pretty good for me. And um, we're going to save the project, which is up here behind my head, up here in the save spot. And we have a few options here where we could publish the project or download it over here. And for me, I want to download it because I want to publish this on a platform like Bandcamp instead of on BandLab. But I think that I might publish it on BandLab too, just in case someone watching this video wants to check it out here. So let's take a look at what our options here are. I think I'm going to say um, my first dungeon synth track on band lab and in genre I'm going to choose dungeon synth and to my dismay it's not available as a category so we'll have to choose something else like other. There's no explicit content and I don't want this to be unlisted so we'll choose um, eh, maybe we'll choose manual mastering and see what our options are there. Oh, didn't give us options. So we'll take a look at that later. Otherwise, we'll download it and we'll download the mix down as a wave file. And usually I'll remaster my tracks when I release them on platforms like a Bandcamp or Spotify. And I usually do that in Reaper. I don't think BandLab is a great place to do your mastering, but um, it looks like there are some options for it. So I won't knock it until I hear the comparison. There's the download. Looks like it got started. And I guess I'll put the link in the description because by the time this video is out, I'll probably have this song released.
Thanks a lot for watching, and be sure to check out some of my other videos if you want to see my workflow in Reaper, which is my primary digital audio workstation. And if you made a song of your own after following along with the series, I'd love to hear it, so please reach out. I'll see you next time.